Hello, and welcome to the library. I'm Mr. Pratt, and today we're going to learn about the book, John Lafitte, The Pirate Who Saved America, by Susan Goldman Rubin, illustrated by Jeff Himmelman. This book tells the epic true story of Jean Lafitte. Lafitte was born to a Jewish family in the early 1780s. Because of their faith, the family had to practice Judaism in secret, and eventually fled from Spain to Port-au-Prince in Saint-Domingue, what is now Haiti. Lafitte was determined to become a pirate and take vengeance on Spanish ships. By the time he was a teenager, he had become a privateer, or a pirate for hire. What I love most about this book and Jean Lafitte's story is how crazy his life was. He met his wife during one of his voyages, and a year later had a son. By the age of 22, Lafitte and his brothers had captured many ships and taken their sailors on as new crew members. Around age 24, he decided to hang up his pirate boots and sail to France with his family only to get attacked by a Spanish ship, only then to be rescued by an American schooner and be taken to New Orleans. Unfortunately, Lafitte's wife became very sick with a fever as a result of this whirlwind trip and died only weeks after arriving in New Orleans. As you can imagine, Lafitte was not very happy with the Spanish. Let's take a look in our book. But first, let's get into character. Yarg, much better. All right, now a selection from the book. Just cut to the audio. By 1806, the brothers had enough money to buy a schooner, and they went back into business as privateers. More than ever, Jean burned with a desire to capture Spanish vessels, especially the warship that had contributed to his wife's death. So long as I live, I am at war with Spain, he said. Jean, Pierre, and their crew sailed to the city-state of Cartagena in Colombia to get a letter of marca. Colombia had been ruled by Spain and was struggling to become independent, so the government welcomed the help of privateers like Jean. Flying the Colombian flag, he set out on his brig, Misery, to seize his prey. Soon he caught a Spanish schooner. He renamed her Dorade, the Golden Dolphin Fish. Dorade became his favorite ship. As John and his brothers swept across the Gulf of Mexico in their ships, they took one Spanish schooner after another. At last, in 1807, John hunted down the hated man of war. After a fierce battle, John forced the Spanish captain to surrender. He had finally avenged his wife's death. A few years later, the War of 1812 began between the United States and England. Jean Lafitte, with his pirating expertise, was enlisted for help. He ended up being a key figure in the Battle of New Orleans. All in all, Jean Lafitte's story is an exciting one full of action and adventure. This book is available in the library. You can also find out more about Lafitte's life all around the internet. The Lafitte National Historical Park and Preserve and the Sam Houston Regional Library and Research Center are great places to start. Thanks for watching.